Right now, Cassini is in basically what we would call prime time viewing for the rings of Saturn. The results coming back now are already beginning to, to show the payoff for that. We're getting some wonderful images of the rings back uh, uh, in this time frame right now, uh, partially because this, the spacecraft is now going up above the plane of the rings and beginning to look down on the rings. One of the first discoveries we've made is a discovery of a, of a small moon uh, orbiting right smack dab inside one of the gaps or, or relatively clear spaces in the rings. This one happens to be called the Keeler Gap. The small moon that we've found is responsible actually for clearing out most of the material in this gap and actually creating this Keeler Gap that you can actually see in telescopes from the Earth. And uh, the, the interaction is entirely gravitational. The, uh, uh, the, uh, the moon uh, effectively perturbs the orbits of the ring particles around the around it as it comes close to it. And the result is uh, producing something that looks an awful lot like waves in the ocean. One of the things that will start telling us is how much mass there is in the, uh, in the, in the little moonlet itself, that is how dense it is. And it'll also uh, tell us about the details of the interaction and how massive the, uh, uh, the, the particles and the, uh, the density of material in the rings in general is. So these are things we really want to understand in terms of the origin and the future history of the rings, how rapidly they're exchanging energy and will they go away after a while or will they just keep regenerating themselves.